Hi folks, Chuck McKay here on a snowy day and we're about to release a video. We wanted you to know all the great things that are going on in Vernon. I'm here with Matt Shea and of course our superintendent, Ms. Davino. It's good to be here. Absolutely, and we're gonna take a look at some great things. But first we want you to see our students at the high school who are part of the biliteracy program. Students who are taking a test after school three days last week in order to get the seal of biliteracy from the state of New Jersey. So we're very excited about that. Ms. Davino is going to take a look with those students and talk with them. But we're also going to talk about the Board of Ed meeting. We have a Board of Ed meeting this week. We do. On Thursday, we have a Board of Education meeting at 6 p.m. at uh, Lounsbury School. It's really important because the Board of Education has been continuing to mm -hmm. keep the public informed about the budget challenges we're facing. Yeah. We also don't want you to forget about the wonderful opportunity at Vernon High School, March oh, yeah. 21st, 22nd, 23rd. The High School Theater Arts Department is performing 9 to 5. They always do an exceptional job with our production, so we hope that everybody from our community comes out. And I'm really looking forward to speaking to the students about the Seal of Biliteracy. Quite an accomplishment for those students. Absolutely. Outstanding work. Absolutely. So we're going to take a look at those wonderful students and the program that Mr. Demsek has brought about. Then we'll take a look at all the great things that are going on this week, and we'll let you know about some of the things that are coming up. Hi, greetings. My name is Karen Davino. I'm the superintendent of schools here in Vernon. I'm so excited to be with you today. I have an amazing group of students surrounding me, and today we're going to talk about the seal of biliteracy. So to introduce that really special program, I have with me today Nick Demsek. He's our supervisor of world languages, social studies, and ESL. Tell us a little bit about the seal of biliteracy. Thanks, Ms. Davino. The seal of biliteracy is a program that New Jersey does that uh, rewards opportunities for our students to demonstrate proficiency in English as well as another language. So uh, this past year we piloted it in Vernon High School. And we're very excited that 25 students and wow. some of these included behind me and around me decided to partake in this uh, assessment and we used the Avant assessment which was able to demonstrate, allows the students to demonstrate their proficiency in the four domains of world language and the students can speak to that and what they did but it's really exciting. Um, we're just still starting to get the results in, but just them taking the time and opportunity to Absolutely. stay after school, and some of them were two, three hours doing this, uh, and it's a testament to them, their teachers, their families, to be able to demonstrate proficiency in another language and appreciation of other cultures as well. So one of the things I really love about this program is that anybody who has taken a second language or attempted a second language or is truly fluent in a second language really has a very special cognitive development and it's quite um, it's quite astounding that the students around me have really not only gotten to that level but some of them are actually looking to surpass that so I think we have students represented from a couple of different languages I think I have a lot of people who did seal by literacy in Spanish see mm -hmm. Yes. How many of you? <laughs> see, I don't speak any Spanish. How much? How many of you took the Spanish? Okay. And then we had uh, German. How about a show of hands for German, right? And then Russian, right? Anybody who's done two languages so far, other than the ones we just named, or no? Who's looking to do another language in the future? Anyone? Possibly. Tell me why. Um, I know that I'm going to be pursuing a Spanish uh, minor in college. I just know that I've come so far with the language that it'd be silly to not continue it. And through my studies um, in high school, I've not only developed a love for the language, but also for the culture. So it's really important to me to continue it. Yeah, and that's really quite wonderful when you talk about not just the language and the immersion and understanding how to communicate with families, but also understanding the culture. Anybody else have maybe um, a real aha moment as you're going through the Seal of Biliteracy program? Maybe the anticipation of taking the test? Were you nervous? Were you surprised? How do you think this is going to help you as you move on through Vernon High School and maybe into college? Any thoughts, Dan? Well, I know that um, having a seal of approval for biliteracy is something that can be really important when you get into college or you're looking for job opportunities. Because mm -hmm. being able to say that you're bilingual is something that really sets you apart from other candidates, whether it's applying for internships or applying to college for the juniors or just getting jobs in general. It's I great. think you brought up a great point about being bilingual when you get into the workplace. One of the things that we talk about um, when, when young people are going out into the workforce is the ability to work with lots of different people, not just problem solving, but also collaboration. So let's talk just a little bit about the actual test. How challenging was that test? Anyone want to speak to that? Was um, it hard? It was, I feel like it was a lot different than what we usually encounter in the classroom. So tell me, so tell me why. 
Why is it different? How is it a different kind of an assessment? So there's four different sections. There okay. was listening, speaking, writing, and this was reading and reading. And reading, okay. <laughs> um, in class with Senora Mulvanerton, we generally kind of just go out of the textbook, work on activities, learn the vocab that's in there, and kind of just follow like a specific rubric, whereas like in the test, it was kind of just like diversified over four different subjects and you really had to like pay attention and understand what you were talking about and I feel like throughout the entire test like I had to be like 100% focused because if I wasn't like I would miss something mm -hmm. and it would end up affecting my overall score. Sure because each one of those components I guess right contributes to the yes. overall score yes. of the test the so test, the yeah they have to be uh, strong in every area. The test is adaptive okay. so uh, if they told the oh, students wow. at the beginning it, it kind of give them a, a couple questions and try to determine what their proficiency was and then based off of how they responded on those they got difficult questions so I, I told them it's just like don't feel frustrated if you get a couple wrong because they're trying to figure out where your level is according to the the actual standards and uh, so it's novice intermediate or advanced wow. and so it, it was really it's real world experiences so as you're, you're taking them there was a lot of like there was like notes or messages that they had to read and I put them into like a real world context uh, of taking the vocabulary and putting it into that and context. Applying yeah, yeah, applying it to amazing. real world situations yeah. too. So. so I've been told by Magic Math that sometimes my podcasts are too long. So there's like a sweet spot for our viewers out there. So I don't want to make it too long, but I really want to hear from our students. First of all, congratulations to all 25, even though this is a small cross section. So I'm going to ask everyone real quickly to say something in another language. Are you ready? All right, go. Hola. <laughs> go. Now, what did you just say? In Russian? I just said, hi, my name is Lisa. Awesome. I love it. To the back? Hola, me llamo Rachel. Awesome. Hola, me llamo Blake y me canta bailo. Hola, me llamo Mila y me gusta mi gato. All right, very nice. I understood that. Hola, me llamo Alexis. Hola, me llamo Mia. Hello, das Vetter is good. German? Yeah. Awesome. Hola, me llamo Daniel. <laughs> okay, very nice. So once again, congratulations to all of our students. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations, Sealed by Literacy. Wonderful program here at Vernon High School. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today, Mr. Demsek, and congratulations. Have a great day. Thank you. Well, we couldn't ask for a better opening for our podcast this week, February 20th, than seeing those wonderful kids and the bioliteracy program. And congratulations again to Mr. Demsek uh, for all of his efforts on that. Academic Decathlon, they had a Saturday competition. Uh, our, athletic, uh, our academic decathlon team had a great day. They took third place in the super quiz portion of the competition. There's a picture of the best and brightest and smartest and most wonderful children on our academic decathlon team. Congratulations, guys. We're very proud of you. Miss Malloy's first grade class completed the STEM challenge. Uh, she related it to folk tales, the three little pigs. Uh, the challenge was to create a house for the three little pigs that the big bad wolf cannot destroy. Uh, there's STEM everywhere um, if you're looking for it. And I want to congratulate Miss Malloy and the young people in her class for creating something that the big bad wolf or at least the hairdryer couldn't destroy. All right, so congratulations to Chandler Blaine. Uh, he will continue uh, with lacrosse in Division Two at Felician. Uh, we want to congratulate the entire family that has raised this fine young man and Mr. Coleman, who has coached this fine young man. So to Ms. Van Orden, uh, as a representative of our administration and to the family, including Grandma, we want to congratulate everyone. Uh, for Chandler's success. Mr. Joseph has been named a New Jersey DOE Exemplary Educator and uh, this is Mr. Joseph working with the robotics kids um, on the, at, in Rolling Hills. Uh, Mr. Joseph is responsible for uh, this program and we are extending his role um, as we move forward because we want him to be involved with the robotics as much as possible. So congratulations to Mr. Joseph for this incredible award. JV wrestling team recently competed at Newton uh, and Sage Giuseppe took home first place. Uh, Vernon also brought home two fourth place finishes. So I want to congratulate the entire team 
uh, we're very, very proud of you. National Girls and Women in Sports Day had their annual event at Seton Hall University. Tori Washtuck is uh, pictured here with Kieran Clean, uh, coach and player. We're both uh, very proud of your program. Tori, we're very proud of you as well. Uh, way to go. And uh, to be honored at uh, such an important event as National Girls and Women's in Sports Day uh, is really something that all of Vernon is proud of. So, Tori, great job, Coach Colleen. Uh, way to make sure that this program is the best it can possibly be, which it is. Casey Termoka came to visit the cosmetology classes to talk about his experience of owning a barbershop or salon. Uh, that's Casey in the back there, and uh, of course the ladies of the cosmetology class. So I wanted to thank everyone for being there that day and also the discussion about um, what it's like to own uh, a barbershop and salon. Great picture of our entire program. Ms. Canelli uh, is at Cedar Mountain. She's a PE teacher, and she introduced the students to the climbing wall. The students' faces lit up when they walked into the gym. The mats went down, and, of course, they started to climb. Great program, uh, great idea, and, of course, we see the young man on the right with a Superman cape on. It doesn't get any better uh, than to be a student in Cedar Mountain climbing a wall with a Superman cape on. <laughs> All right, Miss Julie Franklin's classes, uh, in conjunction with Romeo and Juliet, uh, had a wonderful Shakespearean day. They performed Elizabethan um, skits, uh, including art and creating shields and music. And here's Alex and Nathan, uh, who wrote and performed a skit. One of the interesting things was uh, they also do some fencing uh, during this time, so there's a sword fight. And Miss Franklin was a, a person who did fencing when she was in college, so it's a nice activity. Uh, and the students have a great day uh, in their English 11 class. Vernon School Musical, as we were talking about before, from 9 to 5 is the uh, production, and it's March 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So again, uh, Vernon Theater Department, which is a great program, uh, is proud to present 9 to 5, the play, and it'll be March 21st at 7, March 22nd at 7.30, March 23rd at 7.30, you can get line. You can get uh, tickets online. www.vtsd.com. Look for tickets to the show. Uh, students and seniors, eight dollars online, twelve dollars at the door. Adults, it's twelve dollars online and fifteen at the door. Going to be a great production. Let me call you, sweetheart. I'm in love with you. At the board meeting on Valentine's Day, the last Thursday, we had uh, quartet sing to us, and they have been doing uh, Valentine's um, all day long, singing for various uh, students. And uh, this was a wonderful fundraiser uh, in which kids paid uh, for Valentine songs sung to their sweethearts. The ice hockey team had their senior night past Saturday, and there's Adam Driscoll, Mike McCoffey's, J.T. Doyle, Peter Watley, Shane Brennan, and Jack Boken. And, uh, of course, we're very proud of them. Uh, Jack and Shane presented at the board last board meeting about the, the Sussex Cup uh, that they had won again. Uh, but we're very proud of our hockey team. And, of course, um, as this goes to press, um, they're playing in their state game. So good luck to them. And then there's a mystery at Lounsbury. And this is a wonderful, wonderful thing that's been going on since Christmas break. Uh, in which there seems to be Pez found all around Lounsbury. Like Poe's purloined letter, uh, they are hidden in plain sight and delighting all those that find them. So there are the Pez that seem to be showing up everywhere at Lounsbury. It's a great mystery unfolding there. All right, so another great week in Vernon. So we saw these great things, the, talking to the children about the seal of bioliteracy was really excellent. 
And of course, we want to congratulate Mr. Joseph on his fine award. That's really something terrific. Yes, job well done. We're very excited for him. We also want to remind everyone that we do have a Board of Education meeting on Thursday night at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. at Lounsbury. If you can't make it, just a reminder to folks, if you'd like to view at home, feel free to check out the live stream on the uh, district website. Um, Matt is always monitoring that chat room if we need to monitor questions from home. We'd also like to congratulate and welcome Deb Merrill. She's our Director of Special Services. She started this week here in the district. I'm really pleased and excited that she's joined the team. Yeah, we're glad to have her. And again, the play's coming up at the high school, 9 to 5. Please come out and support our thespians. They always do a fantastic job. So we'll see you soon. Adios. I'll beat her then. That's it, Daniel.